everybody. Here we are for chapter three, Interactions in Marine Ecosystems. So welcome back to Ace Marine Science. We're going to go over just 3.1. As always, take out your Cambridge syllabus that's found on Google, right? Just Google Cambridge Ace Marine syllabus, and you can pull up all the questions, which are really helpful as you go through this class. So let's first talk about something that maybe you've heard before, but let's talk about mutualism, AKA a mutualistic relationship. So a mutualistic relationship is going to be when we have both organisms benefiting. When both organisms benefit, that means one is providing to another and that other is providing to the one that we start with before. So when we talk about mutualism, they're both benefiting. They're both giving each other something right? So a mutualistic relationship is going to be a great example for our boxer crabs and sea anemones. So if we look at our little picture at the bottom, I have a little crab for you around a sea anemone that you can see with clownfish too. So there's going to be a mutualistic relationship. And remember, that's just one example of two organisms benefiting, but we know there are many others, but that's the relationship and example you should know for this class. Next one. Parasitic relationship or parasitism, right? This is where one organism is benefiting from another organism's harm. So one organism is harming another, but they're benefiting from it. So this is going to be that plus minus relationship. And when we talk about parasitic relationships, we can think about copepods and marine fish. So copepods, just what I have on our screen here, our little fish with the copepod right over its gills. What a copepod does is it actually takes the all the nutrients from the air that the fish is breathing and it sucks the fish dry and it causes the gills to swell. When the gills swell, well, that's how the fish breathes. So obviously the fish won't be able to make it. And then that copepod will go find another fish. Next, commensalism. Commensalism or a commensalistic relationship one benefits and the other basically is completely unaffected. Now, on previous tests, we have seen some questions based on commensalism. And our example for commensalism is going to be whales and barnacles, just like our picture on this slide. Now, whales with barnacles, whales are unaffected by the barnacles, but the barnacles are going to benefit because they're right by, usually, they're going to be found on the surface of the whale, and they're going to be able to grab any nutrients that the whale kind of doesn't eat, right? Now, the whale is unaffected. However, there is an exception. That exception is, let's say the whale is covered with a lot of barnacles. Then it could slow down the swim speed of our whale. But just keep in mind, they have to say that to you in a question that they ask you on your test at the end of the year. So, what you need to know, let's recap really quick. Mutualism, both organisms benefit, a boxer crab and a sea anemone. Parasitism, one benefits, others harmed. Not a good thing, right? Except for the one that's benefiting. That's going to be our marine fish and a copepod. Then commensalism, our last one we need to know, commensalistic relationships. One organism benefits, the other goes unaffected. Alrighty, everybody, that was nice, short, and sweet. Hopefully that was helpful for just learning those relationships in topic 3.1. We're going to move on to 3.2 in the next video. See you next time. Remember to like and subscribe.